entrenched Federalist Party was fighting, kicking, and screaming against this. Now, you, you touch on there's a a, a, a proposed quasi coup during the Adams administration years, right? Like where 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 Hamilton's trying to conspire to kind of let uh, to, to, to use the, the 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 force of the administrative state to override. Uh, a democratic whims. You have attempts to to uh, take over the election system in states that are hostile to the Federalists, right? I mean, this is a regime that is, is trying to do everything they can to, to stop this coalition of variety of, of, of interests opposing their, their claim to right, power. Right, right. No, they, yeah, they, they, this is something I talk about a lot in Chapter 6, is that this is one of the reasons I, I, I mentioned, uh, I think, uh, at the beginning when we were doing this, uh, we were starting the, this, this podcast, uh, you know, talking about my overall book, is I call it cronyism, and not just crony capitalism, because there is a lot of political cronyism where politicians are looking to sort of hurt their competitors, uh, people who are also running for elections, et cetera, who could take away votes and reduce power by supporting all sorts of policies, uh, that that are benefiting themselves, and the Federalists were 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 were, were going down fighting. They were not going to just simply, uh, you know, l- let the Republicans run roughshod over them. Uh, nor would they were would, did they really want them to uh, win the election. They were going to take a lot of things that sometimes bordered on illeg- you know, this this blatant uh, illegal nature. Hamilton. At one point after the New York elections around this time had swung to the Republicans, so the Republicans would be able to, according to New York law, the state legislatures would be able to choose the electors, basically ensuring that the uh, New York delegation would go for the, uh, the the Republicans. Hamilton wanted John Jay to call a special se- session of of of, um, of of the legislature in order to basically retroactively change the rules. And this is something John Jay. He didn't even respond. It was it was too much for him, who was who was pretty much a reactionary. And most people are w- would agree. Even uh, even big Hamiltonians would say that was probably not his best moment, so to speak, when he's sort of blatantly engaging in like chicanery, um, you know, to, to 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 keep the election going for the Federalists. You also have to understand. 1800 and really 1801, when the Republicans come to power, that was the first true. Politi- peaceful transfer of power between political parties, like in in history, it was really the most you know in, in modern history. The 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 uh, the, the, the you know the, the, this, it was, this is something that had not happened before because what often happened is that when push comes to shove with an election, the existing party in power uh, was just says, "All right, we're just going to stay in power." Like tough, we got the guns. Like there's nothing you can do about it. And this could have been a very bad uh, left turn for the United States where the Federalists blatantly hold on to power or something. It got very close to that, but they did not. Uh, Jefferson, he, 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 he's, he's elected uh, the Electoral College. Um, or, well, uh, he, it, was, it was basically Congress at this point. Um, he, he is chosen president and he, he, he ushers in what was seen to be a Jeffersonian revolution. Uh, the, the government is going to go back sort of closer to the Articles of Confederation. There's going to be this big push towards decentralization. It's just a new time. This is best seen in the fact that this is now the capital moves from Philadelphia, this hustling, bustling metropolis to this sleepy backwater, the federal city, that there's really not much going on there. And at Jefferson's inauguration seems to go pretty well. And well, this is now going to be this time for the limited government, et cetera. The anti-federalists who, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the, the former anti-federalists who wanted Jefferson to return to the articles, they were known as the old Republicans. They had high expectations, high hopes for Jefferson. Unfortunately, their hopes uh, became quickly dashed. 